In a lot of ways, this dinner sums up my first two years in office. I'll talk for 10 minutes, take zero questions, and cheerfully walk away. They call me old. You know, black people love crumbs. We love crumbs. We're like the mice of the Democratic Party. Black people are the mice of the Democratic Party. While the white Democrats are having breakfast and lunch and dinner and they're feasting on their filet mignon and they're feasting on their nasty European cheesecake and they're drinking their wine with their three-piece suits and their long dresses and while the white Democrats are having a big meal, the black mice come in and we go squealing around the floor. Squeal, 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 squeal. Squeal, squeal, and we wait for the crumbs to drop off the Democratic table. We wait for the crumbs to drop off, and then we grab a crumb, and we run back into our little mice hole. We run back into our little mice hole, and we share the little crumbs with the other black mice, and we say, look how good our Democratic masters are. They gave us a crumb. You wasn't invited to the dinner. You ain't got a seat at the table. You damn sure not eating out of a plate. You are the mice that run around on the floor. Squeal, squeal. Blacks are the mice of the Democratic Party. And you're the mice of the European Party. We run around crawling on the floor, squealing and begging for crumbs. And once you get a crumb, you have the audacity to think that you're a part of the team because you're squealing around. Who do you know? considers the mice in their house a part of the family. Who do you know considers the black mice crawling around on their kitchen floor as part of the family? Nobody I know considers the mice to be part of the family. The only mice who think they're part of the family are the Democratic Negro mice, are the black Negro mice of the Democratic Party. Squeal, 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 squeal. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get some mice. I'm going to go buy some mice from the pet store. And the minute one of you coons starts squealing about you better go vote, I'm going to throw a mice on your ass. I'm going to go to the pet store and I'm going to get about 50 baby mice. And the minute one of you niggas starts squealing about election day, I'm going to throw a mice on your ass. So then some of you say, well, Dr. Umar, if we don't vote for Biden, we vote for Trump. And what is your point? Is there a difference between the two regarding you? Is there a difference between Trump and Biden as it relates to Negroes? Because I'm not aware of one. Maybe, just maybe, you are aware of a difference in policy, agenda, platform, and program between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, but I'm not aware of any. I'm not aware of any. Does Joe Biden have a solution for miseducation? No, neither does Trump. Does Joe Biden have a solution for police genocide? No, neither does Donald Trump. Does Joe Biden have a solution for ethnic cleansing, a.k.a. residential genocide? No, neither does Donald Trump. Does Joe Biden have a solution for mass incarceration? Of course not. He supported the Bill Clinton federal crime bill back in 1994. Neither does Donald Trump. Does Joe Biden have a solution for economic redistribution of America's wealth? No, he don't. And neither does Donald Trump. I keep telling you over and over again. I keep telling you over and over again. I keep telling you this. Over and over again. Stop voting for personalities. Vote for an agenda. Stop voting for personalities. Vote for an agenda. Stop voting for personalities. Vote for an agenda. Do you know why you vote for personalities? You know why you vote for personalities? Because if you voted for an agenda, you would not be voting. See, the black bourgeoisie gets you caught up in the personality of Joe Biden, the personality of Donald Trump. For personality, 
We vote for agenda. And if you're voting for a black agenda, you won't be voting because neither one of them has one. Neither one of them has one. Neither one of them has one. So when you say you're going to vote and you're black, you're voting for a personality. Black people vote for personalities. Everybody else votes for agendas and platforms and promises. Black people vote for personality. You cannot possibly be voting for an agenda. You cannot possibly be voting for an agenda because neither one of them has an agenda for you. What is the black agenda for Joe Biden? What is the black agenda for Donald Trump? Nothing. Nothing. See, y'all hate me because I don't give you the easy way out. Y'all want me to come and tell you you can pray your way out of this, march your way out of this, vote your way out of this. Some of y'all believe you can educate your way. If I just get enough college degrees, oops, that didn't work. If I just pray enough, oops, that didn't work. If I just march enough, oop, that didn't work. If I just complain and protest enough, oop, that didn't work. The only thing that's going to save you is yourself. Stop worrying about who's going to be the next president and start worrying about what we're going to do for ourselves during the next presidency. Stop worrying about who's going to be the next president and start worrying about what are we going to do for ourselves during the next presidency. Stop worrying about who's going to be the next president and ask yourself, what are we going to start doing for ourselves during the next presidency? Guess what? Self-reliance, self determination what are we going to do for ourselves the 1619 project I don't listen nobody should be teaching black children who they are and where they've been except black people. Nobody should be teaching history to black children except black people. Nobody. Nobody. But the problem is we're so damn lazy, so lazy and so dependent on white people that we even want the white teachers to teach our kids their history. Why? Why? You have a black church on every other corner in the community. You have a black church on every other corner. Some of them are side by side. You have churches right next to each other. Why can't we teach black history in the church? Why do racist white women have to teach our kids who they are? Why do racist white women have to teach our children who they are? Why can't black people teach black history to black children in the black church? I will never fight for public school black history. I will never fight for black history in the public schools. I'm never doing that. I'm never doing that. Because our kids should be learning that in the community. Our kids should be learning that in the community. See, we are so lazy. So lazy. When I say lazy, I'm not talking about you not wanting to work. I'm not talking about you not wanting to start your own business. You're not lazy when it comes to you. But when it comes to us, when it comes to us, Doing something for us, we get lazy as hell. Black history, why can't the schools teach it? Why do I want white women teaching black kids who they are? Why do I want white teachers teaching Marcus Garvey, Harriet Tubman, Kwame Nkrumah, Ida B. Wells? Why do I want that from white people? Why do I want that? It's not their job. It is not their job. Even if they were not racist, they should not be teaching our history. Because it's our history. It's ours. 
but y'all want to keep fighting other people to do what you should be doing. I'm never going to co-sign it. I'm never going to co-sign that. 400 years later, and y'all out here arguing over which white man you should vote for. This is insanity. This is insane. After 400 years, we are arguing over which white man we want to lead us. After 400 years, neither one of them has offered a solution to police genocide. Neither one. Neither one. And you out here telling me I got to go endorse a white man for the White House so he can save black people. You literally believe that. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. That's why we need the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG. RBG International Leadership Academy because we're done. You Negroes are psychologically destroyed. You're done. You're done. You don't want to be free. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to be free. Don't none of y'all want to be free. You don't want to be free. You want to be comfortable. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to be free. You don't want that. You don't want the responsibility of growing your own food. You don't want the responsibility of building your own hospital. You don't want that. You don't want that. No, you don't. You don't want the responsibility of Opening and building your own banks and supermarkets and factories and building your own communities. You don't want to do that. No, you don't. You want to live off white society. And while you live off white society, you want them to stop treating you like a second class citizen. You are the mice of America. You're the mice of the Democratic Party and you're the mice of America. You don't want to build nothing. You don't want to cook the food, but you want to sit at the table. You don't want to build the school, but you want to send your kids to go learn. You don't want to erect the supermarket, but you want to go and shop. You're lazy. We are a lazy ass people. I'm not talking about individual laziness. I'm talking about political laziness. Political. We are political lazy. And if you don't believe me, can you show me a single black town in the United States? Can you Negro mice, can you squilling ass mice, you little rats, bunch of squilling ass rats, ain't built nothing in 50 years, a bunch of rats. Show me one black town in America. Show me one black town. Show me a community in America where we own the bank, the school, the supermarket, and the hospital. Can you give me one? Give me one. Where we own the bank, the supermarket, the school, and the hospital in America right now. Show me one. I said privately owned by black people. No government. No government. Privately owned by black people, you damn mice. You mice, you squilling ass rats. What have we built? What have we built? Let's look at black spending habits. I'm an American. I pay taxes. I'm an American. I pay taxes. I'm an American. I pay taxes. So what? So what? Did you get that weave for free when you paid your taxes? Did you get those Timberlands and Air Jordans for free when you paid your taxes? Did you get your cable TV and your big screen TV for free when you paid your taxes? Did you get that Mercedes for free when you paid your taxes? What am I building? I got two schools, that's what I'm building. And I'm not stopping there. I'm only starting there. Two schools. That's what I'm working on. It ain't everything. 
but it's more than what you're working on because you ain't working on nothing but the next YouTube video. That's all you building is a YouTube page. You're building a Facebook page. You're building your Instagram account. You're building your Twitter network. That's what you're building. If we are going to be a nation, then we got to have infrastructure. And if we are going to have infrastructure, we got to have systems in place. And in order to have systems in place, you got to have institutions in place. If there's no institutions, there is no system, there is no infrastructure, there is no nation. What are you building? I'm building two schools. What are you working on? What are you working on? I got three organizations that helps people, not no intellectual masturbation ideology, National Independent Black Parent Association. We save children's lives from being destroyed in the school. I save children's lives every day from being destroyed from mental health and miseducation. That's what I do. What do you do? What do you do? That's what I want to know. What do you do? Okay.